side of his trunks, and he's got the red, white, and blue down the other. He faces the south, Alan Minter, comes from Crawley and Sussex. Minter, 24, in his first big title fight, and Finnegan, who held this title just a few months uh, last year before giving it up after winning the European title, which he's since lost. Finnegan then in the light colored shorts and white boots against the Southpaw Minter, who's three years younger than Kevin Finnegan, the brother of Chris. Both weigh the same, 11 stone, five and a half. It's just half a pound inside the leg. Minter making a good start aggressively, picking Finnegan off with punches. Kevin Finnegan didn't look too good a few months ago in Monte Carlo when he lost the European title. And uh, he'll have to do a good bit better than that tonight if he wants to win this British middleweight title. start by Minter, but a long way to go. Well, here's the man who held this title for a few months last year. He beat Bunny Sterling for it, but he gave it up when he won the European title. But of course, since then, he's lost that title, as I said, in Monte Carlo this year to Gratien Tonner of France, a man without too much skill, but uh, who simply was better on the night. Well, if Finnegan wins tonight, then both he and brother Chris, who's sitting ringside watching this, they will be the first brothers ever to hold British titles simultaneously. Second off, round three. So Minter in the dark shorts, the southpaw, made a good start in his uh, opening two rounds. Finnegan beginning to make Minter miss with his leads and countering quite well. Wait. Finnegan still letting Minter force it. Good left hands landed by Finnegan in this round. He's counterpunched considerably better than he did in the first two rounds. He's let Minter do the chasing. Minter coming strongly towards the end of this round. So in the end, there isn't too much between them on this round. Finnegan, 27, he's three years older than Minter, professional for five years, 24 wins and three defeats in 27 fights. <laughs> Apart from being beaten by Gratty and Tonner, his other defeats both came from cuts on the left eye, so it's the left eye of Finnegan's we shall be watching in this fight. Second off, round five. get the feeling in this fifth round that Minter's beginning to lose the initiative. He's still working for it, but not really getting through. Finnegan leading him a dance, and every now and again planting the good counterpunch. Watch how Finnegan slips so many of these leads. 
Look at the ways working from side to side, ducking beneath the leads of Minter. Real battle of wits going on there. Head up to Finnegan. Stands his ground and then lets go the left hand inside. <laughs> That's been a hard round for the pair of them. A lot of work done by Minter there, a lot of it was nullified. But he got through once or twice towards the end. But even then, I don't think he won the round. I think it was probably a good halved round. But uh, these two are putting a lot of effort into this contest. And uh, these early stages are fascinating. And it's difficult to see yet who's going to get the upper hand. Second off, round six. So Minter over the first third of the fight, assuming he goes the full 15. I make him slightly out in front. but all the crucial action still to come. Minter now working very, very hard indeed to get on top of Kevin. And he can't quite do it because Kevin slips and ducks, uses his knowledge to get underneath the punches. Well used to boxing against southpaws. He does most of his sparring in the gym with brother Chris, who of course is a southpaw. So he, he knows what to do with a southpaw boxer. And uh, he's showing Minter just that. Minter doing a lot of work and a lot of it is wasted here. Punches missing. And Finnegan finding him with that left hand and the right. It's the best round he's had so far. He's slipped almost everything that Mint has thrown, and Mint has done a lot of work. But Finnegan has picked up the points. What a good round for Kevin. That might have been a very decisive round indeed. Kevin Finnegan saw everything that Mint threw at him in that round, slipped most of it, and put in a lot of very telling counter punches. Good round for Finnegan. Well, now I've got them absolutely dead level on my card. So the first six rounds have gone by, and I've got it, everything still to play for. Minter, the less experienced of the two, when you look at the class of man they've met. There's some blood on the face of Minter. Looks as though it might be under the right eye. That's the first sign of damage on either of their faces. But Minter it is, who's got it, and it's under the right eye. That won't worry him too much, it's not serious. But nonetheless, it's an indication of the sort of work that's being done by Finnegan's counter punches. There it is, under the right eye. Finnegan now doing the scoring that matters. Good right from Finnegan taking the initiative for the first time sees his chance goes forward and Minter for the first time looks to be in some trouble fighting now with a touch of desperation 